More and more homeowners are changing to using gas as a fuel for cooking at home. Gas is readily available. It's economical. It does not rely on the electricity being on to be able to cook. And it's the fuel of choice that many people like myself already rely on. Gas also has a major advantage in that it's instant heat and you're not using electricity to heat up a plate only to turn the temperature down. Liquefied petroleum gas, or LPG, comes in many forms. However, when buying bottled fuel for heating and cooking, you're usually left with two choices, propane and butane. Now, propane is what is filled into our normal home-use gas cylinders. You know, the blue ones from KDAC, the orange cylinders from Alva, and the common gray cylinders from large gas suppliers. Propane is what's used for gas fries, gas lamps, countertop stoves, such as this two plate burner from Elba, and gas heaters. These cooker tops and cylinders are what I would call a semi-permanent installation. They do not need to be installed by a qualified installer, DIY. They are brilliant during power outages or taking to your outside area for a Sunday breakfast. The kids love meals that have been prepared outdoors. However, they're generally too cumbersome to pack into the car for a picnic or possibly a camping weekend. Butane is also an LPG and is commonly used in blow torches, lighters, as well as this mobile stovetop from Alva. Lightweight and portable, these cookers are ideal to be used as an emergency backup at home, but more importantly, they can be stored in a small area, such as a kitchen drawer, and they don't take much space if you're wanting to take it with you in the car. However, these cookers run on butane gas cylinders, which fit inside the cooker. There are some differences though to discuss between these two gas types. Propane has a lower boiling point than butane. Now the boiling point of a gas is the temperature at which the gas turns to vapor. Propane boils at about minus 45 and butane boils at about zero degrees. This means that propane is better suited for storage outdoors in very low temperatures. Have you ever tried to light a lighter that's been left outside on a cold night? Propane also has a higher calorific value, which means that it gives out more energy than butane for the same quantity of gas that you've burned. Propane also has a hotter flame temperature than butane, and these are the main reasons why propane is the preferred fuel for cooking. Propane is also dense and holds more liters in a one kilogram gas cylinder than you could with butane. Whilst on the topic of gas, propane gas cylinders are supplied with one of two thread sizes, a 3 8 or a 5 8, commonly known as a bull nose. These two plate cookers have the smaller 3 8 threaded fitting. Now generally, we don't have much choice in the type of gas we get. For larger appliances and heaters, it's propane, and for small portable cookers, it's butane. So how would you choose between your two gas types? For me, your decision should be based on how many people are you cooking for and how often are you using your gas. If it's daily, get a countertop cooker like this and use propane. Don't forget that Builder sells gas, either refills or exchanges, as well as a wide choice of gas cooking, heating and lighting options. All of them available in store or online at builders.co.za. For more videos like this, check out the blog on the website. Get to Builders, get it done.